वी ऑल लव सिंपल थिंग्स इट एंड एंड आवर सॉफ्टवेयर और आवर प्रोग्राम और आवर कोड इज नॉट एन एक्सेप्शन वॉट इफ आई टेल यू दैट देर इज अ सिंपल वे टू क्रिएट योर प्रोग्राम राइट योर कोड एंड दिस इज वॉट वी आर गोन टॉक अबाउट इन दिस वीडियो नमस्ते एवरी वन अ वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू माई चैनल एंड वेलकम टू दिस वीडियो वेयर आई एम गोन टॉक अबाउट स्टेट मशीन्स which are the backbone of any production code in this video we will talk about what are state machine what are the components of state machine and what are the meaning of all these things without writing even a single line of code and believe me this is going to be interesting so before going further let's define what is the meaning of state machine so in a nutshell if you write any program which doesn't terminates immediately after doing the things which you want it to do the program is implicitly a state machine that's right anything that stays in the memory and do something is a state machine whether you have created that program as a implicit state machine or not okay always remember this for example even if you have created a very simple calculator which takes couple of numbers and gives you the sum and goes back and wait for couple of numbers again is also a state machine don't get me wrong i'll tell you how okay now when we talk about state machine the very first thing that comes to our mind is what is a state because state seems to be you know core of a state machine so here is not so technical definition of a state a state is a set of information which gives you the clue about the behavior or characteristics of a system at that moment of time i know it might sound confusing but it is not let me give you a very simple example considering our day to day lives i know all of you must have said this to someone like you know you looks in very happy state today isn't right you must have said this to someone or someone must have said this to you right you look in very happy state that means looking at you some people can get some information that under what state you are what will be your behavior in this state how someone can talk to you what are your characteristics going to be in this state and so on and so forth similarly if you are not in happy state you are in sad state gives a indication about you know what we can talk to you or the person who is in sad state and many other indication so a state is nothing but very similar to what state we experience in our day to day lives we experience multiple states in a day in our lifetime so a state is just a indication it's clue of something that might happen at that point of time the characteristics and behavior at that moment of time okay similarly our source code our program consists of multiple states okay just like our life just like our day in a day we do not spend our day in single state we went through multiple state happy sad and we don't know how many other states similarly depending upon the complexity and size of your code your program goes through multiple states now in this picture you can see four states but you will ask a question okay hang on i know in my program there are multiple states but how i go from one state to another state right that's a very good question and that question brings us two more thing which is in the ecosystem of state machine they are events and transitions so what happens that you know when you are in a state you will go to different state only if some event has happened and you will not go to different state instantaneously you will go to different state by doing something in between let's go ahead and see a very simple example so someone is in happy state and receives a message that you know you lost money the person turns into sad state of course true for all of us now the person in the sad state receives a message that you gained money the person moves back to happy state so these things gain money and lost money what are they they are events okay so events triggers some reaction in the state as a result of which i may move to a different state may move to okay depending upon your code which means that 
events are the thing which we received in the state transitions are the things which we do while moving to next state so let's assume that i am uh, talking to a group of people or i am with my friends and i had given an exam and i am expecting a result and let's assume that i received a result which is not what i had expected okay of course you know this is this is a event which is being triggered to me but i will not become sad instantaneously obviously you know i do not want to be sad in front of my friends so i may come home go to my room and then maybe become sad okay so i did something before moving to sad state this is what in terms of software you will do before moving to different state so here are three things in the state machine ecosystem state events and transition state depicts you know which state we are in events received in a state trigger something and if the transition happens transition is the function which is called between states okay i hope these three things are clear let's move ahead so in this picture i mean i it is just a random picture there were four state now four states are connected so it's not necessary that with one state you can go to all other states it's totally based on your program logic that which state you move from one state to another state same goes to events also so in your program or in your code there may be hundreds and thousands of states and events but all states will not be listening to all the events for example let's assume that you know um, internet goes down in some other part of the city okay but it doesn't goes down over here so it doesn't impact me similarly the state if i am a state at that moment of time i will not wait for the internet down event which is in different part of the city similarly in your code when you are writing states and events you will wait for the events only the events which mean something to you which trigger something in the state you are in for example if i am doing live stream or something if internet goes down then you know i will immediately turn into you know um, anger state kind of thing right so you have to take care of these things okay now the very important thing is events and transition functions for every state from one state to another state if someone want to go from one state to another state there must be some event even we as a individual don't go from one state to another state without some events doing something right and then we also do some transition functions as i have explained it a moments back so as a customary thing you know we land with hello world so here is a very simple hello world state machine it's a very simple example where you know you type your name and the program will say good morning good afternoon or good evening based on the time of the day so waiting for user input state so when you run your program it's waiting for user input right it's waiting there it's a state so if i go and enter my name and press enter then it's a event it triggers the event that okay something has happened and waiting for in, uh, user input state receives that event and as a transition function it validates that you know the name is name it's a you know alphabetic characters not 1 to 9 and then it goes to print greeting state okay in print greeting state as soon as printing ends that itself is a event to again go back to waiting for user input state think about it it's very interesting to think about this in this particular way okay so here is a picture which depicts you know something similar to a big program will look like you know in this picture if i say you know let's talk about email you can see the email over there and if i talk about you know let's talk about storage in database you can see a database picture over there so think about it if these are the state machines and if you are talking about a function which corresponds to a particular state you will directly go to that state do addition do modification even do deletion right it is going to make your life very easy i will come back to this picture once again but let's talk about why is state machine why i am so much insisting on writing state machine even when i am saying that you know 
whether you are writing it explicitly or not implicitly you are anyway using state machine so as i have told you earlier anything that stays in the memory no matter which platform you are working on is a set of states explicit states helps you to see the behavior of your code happy state sad state your program is in state a state b state c you know what is the expected behavior of the code in this state most important thing which saves the day it helps you to debug faster and it improves the architecture and design of your code believe me try it out okay now i have told you so much about state machines then you will ask this question how to use state machine in my language shall i go ahead and create that yes you can but it's highly likely that the programming language you are working on might already have a state machine framework go ahead and use it i am asking you to use the state machine framework because when you are writing your code when you are creating your program you are not interested in uh, nitty gritty details of the state machine you are interested in writing your code making sure your logic works so let the complexity of state machine be with the state machine framework you go ahead and write your code now i told you that i will go back to this picture right now let's assume that some problem happened here right if this is a state you know that these two state have happened none of these states have happened and there is a problem in this state and there can be only limited number of things which can cause problem in this state as i said helps you debug easily debug faster so next time when you are writing your code try using state machines so you know you can write all these functions you know in a single file also as a multiple functions but if you keep these distinctions as a state you also know what are you expecting from the code why you are writing this code and what is the behavior of the code at that moment of time so next time when you write your program write your code think about state machines before you know going ahead with that and if possible give it a chance thanks everyone thanks for watching we will meet again till the next time we meet good day goodbye take care